Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode three of the three-part series, 2020 Pennsylvania Hunting, John with Deer Addiction. I've got the old shirt bought by my mama with turkeys on it. It was the shirt for my wannabe 10 last year. If you didn't see that video, click the link. You can watch that video of a deer that we knew well. And this year we have a great buck to bring to you of a buck that we know well. But we didn't get to see this buck very often. He only came on the farm occasionally. I believe he lived just west of our farm, but he would occasionally come over enough to give us some tantalizing views. And uh, we uh, finally got to see him during a legal season in range. And I think you're gonna enjoy this hunt. First, I'm gonna show you this buck two years ago, cold, in the snow, in a, in a climber, a summit climber, stand this buck walked out and i i try to shoot a, a good box 100 110 inch at least every year but i was cold my mind wasn't working right and this buck came out and gave me an opportunity and you will see such an awesome demonstration of rifle marksman shop ship you know i would have never shot this deer i don't even know why i did and when he ran off i was so happy i i know you've never found yourself in that situation but this was a 10 pointer. I had a rule at that time that if it had more points than any deer I've ever shot before, I would shoot it. And the biggest buck I'd ever shot before was an eight point. Uh, I had some nubs uh, and I was just uh, two years ago. I shot at him, I missed, it was a terrible shot. You can see the video as I'm talking here. But he gave me a present at the end of that uh, hunting season. And I have it with me. And it's right here, right by my tree stand. I'll try to dig up the video, the picture and show it to you. Right by a trail camera of mine, he left his right antler. He made it through the winter. So I have his right. I believe he could have been, this could have been his first set of antlers. I may be wrong. His body looked very young. He could have been a two year old, uh, but pretty small mass. Uh, anyway, outstanding, uh, you know, already gonna be a 10 pointer at this phase. Last year, he showed up on the farm a few times and he, I called him a wannabe 12 because now he had nubs right here, smaller than this. And he actually walked under uh, my neighbor's tree stand. Uh, he did not go on my neighbor's property very often. My neighbor said he didn't recognize him, but he missed him at 20 yards the last day of archery of 2019. And you talk about living a charmed life. My shot was a cramped shot in the tree stand, but still no excuse. He was 80 yards away, uh, missed him. Now he gets missed by a bow at 20 yards. And this is just a lesson to all of us that if the deer would survive, they can get so much more majestic and large. But uh, he didn't give any of us an antler, as far as I know, as a, a thank you gift for living and for us having bad marksmanship. And my, my neighbor's a good hunter. Just maybe got nervous, maybe hit something. Uh, anyway, come through to this, this spring, we start seeing some trail cam pictures and I start seeing the big brows, widespread, and we know we got something special.
was still not regularly showing up. And so we uh, tried to hunt him. And during one of my early archery hunts, he showed up at 75 yards. I didn't know if he's coming in or not, so I didn't get him at 75 yards. But then he fed on out to the uh, food plot, chasing some does. Not chasing does, just with does. And I have some shaky footage of that here. Sorry about that. My camera autofocuses and there's no way to get it off. And I was holding this by hand. The joys of self-filming. So now I got my boy his first buck and now I'm out in the tree by myself and I decide we had a big heavy snow about a foot of snow fall only maybe about 10 inches out there uh, where I hunt about about 40 minute drive for me and I decided I was going to do some evening hunts maybe they'd be hungry cold on their feet hey everybody it's John with deer addiction sitting in the old muddy bull blind Cold day, 36 degrees. Well, it's Thursday. Looks a lot like yesterday, man. We're gonna try to sneak up, see if we get a buck here. I'm gonna sit in the street house again. A couple more days until those is open, so let's just walk on in there. Let's look. Friday, <clears throat> first Friday of the season, it's day seven of the season, saw some dink bucks and a few does yesterday, the day before I got skunked, parked a little lower today, I'm gonna sneak up through the plot, and get up in the blind, see what we can make happen this afternoon, wish me luck. You got it done? I made it. I'm just videoing. 
All right, it's Friday. We got blood where I shot. A lot of fur, brown fur. And then blood. But then when I was walking in the woods, I saw him. I thought I saw something flag. So we went back and got a light on her head. We're gonna pick up the trail here and if God sees fit, we're gonna lay our hands on this thing. Good blood. Tell me when you're back to where you were. Yeah. I'm gonna put your hand in my, my your can you see if I do this? Can you see? Can you see? I can see a little bit. Yeah, you sound muffled a little bit. You're in my pocket. Okay, that's good. I can see it. A little bit. Okay. Okay, we hit him a little back. See a little bit of stomach contents, Joe. Uh oh. Do you want to back out? No. Not with a gunshot here. It's been 15, 20 minutes. Good blood. Oh yeah. Oh, I see him trying to get up. I see him trying to get up. Thank you, Lord, for these blessings. Being patient has paid off today. I shot and missed this buck in the same field two years ago. Today I didn't miss. I went into the woods and he tried to get up so I had to put a second bullet in him but if you can see there's the track and he bedded down here and, through. and he leads right over here and he's a beautiful buck from Pennsylvania this, this is a beautiful buck Look at that buck. Beautiful deer. Thank you, dear. Everybody, I want you to meet the Big 12. Look at this beautiful animal. I'm so blessed to harvest. Look at him. Just a beautiful 12 point. I hunted hard for this deer this year. I missed him two years ago in the same food plot that I got him today. Had a clean miss then, didn't miss him this time. Beautiful deer. Thank you, Buck. You know, feed my family. This is an amazing deer. And this buck is just amazing. Just beautiful. Look at him. He's tagged. 